Hi, Ninja Pickle here with an overview of the Equiminer 1.0 mining program. This is a program that I wrote to help you mine all of the various coins available on the Equipool website. The first thing you'll want to do is to configure your worker name here. Next, you'll want to select the region that you're in. This helps the program select the closest server to where you're located. And then below that, you have a tab for all of the different coins that are available on the Equipool website. And this is updated each time you open up the program. So if a new coin is added or if a coin is removed for some reason, that will be reflected on this list here. And for each coin, it has the coin name, the website link, which you can click on that. And it will take you to the website and you can view information about the coin and download the wallet. Once you have your wallet configured, enter the wallet address here. And I should mention all this information is persistent, so when you close the program and open it back up, um, all this will be saved. Um, and so you have, so you want to do that for all the coins that you're interested in mining. This lottery tab here, this is for the Bitcoin Z Community Hash Pool Lottery, which um, you can click on this link here. It will give you more information about what that's what that's about. But basically, you can donate some of your hashing power to the lottery pool, and at the end of the week, one miner is randomly chosen, and they win 10% of all of the coins that were mined. So it's a great way to help out the Bitcoin Z community, and if you're interested, I recommend you check out the website to see what it's all about. So after you have configured all your wallets, you come down here, and uh, this is just mix and match. You choose what coin you want to mine, and what minor program you want to use and, and that's available for all the different cards that the program found on your computer. And I have three different miners available. DSTM is generally regarded as the fastest miner currently available so uh, I would recommend using that in most cases. If you have an older GPU you may have to use EWBF but uh, otherwise it's a fine program just maybe a little bit slower than DSTM. And then Bminer just came out a month or two ago. If you're interested, you can try that out too. So I'm going to leave card 0 off. That's not playing nicely with my screen capture. But on GPU 1, we'll use DSTM and we'll mine some Bitcoin Z. And then on GPU 2, we'll try EWBF and we'll mine some VoteCoin. And once you have that set up how you want, you go ahead and click Start Mining. And you'll see it opens up a miner for each coin and miner combination. So we have some Bitcoin Z being mined on card one only. Card zero and card two are turned off uh, for this coin. And then down here on E uh, WBF, it is mining on card two, just how we have configured over here. While this is running, this is locked down. You can't make any changes to this. If you did want to make a change, just stop mining, change whatever you want, and then start the mining again. You can also stop the miners by exiting out of the program either here or shutting down, which just shuts everything down. No need to worry about saving anything. Everything is automatically saved, and it will be there when you open up the program again. Uh, some other things about the program, if you click on the Equipool tag up here, it will take you to the website and show you the stats for the, the coin that you currently have selected here on the, the tab list here. If you click on help, just a quick uh, user guide here, a uh, link to this YouTube video if you want to watch it again. Uh, if you click on my name here, it will take you to the um, Discord website and you can talk to me there, ask questions. If you'd like to donate some Bitcoin Z to me, uh, much appreciated. You can scan this or click on this and it will copy my Bitcoin Z wallet address into your pasteboard so you can uh, use that. And that's about it. So hope you find the program uh, useful and if you have any suggestions be sure to let me know. I'm always open to improving the program. Thanks for your time watching the video and have a good day.